All right, so it's cross time. What do I mean by that? Well, it's this time of year where you really want to be starting to think about how to have the edge in your business. And so a year has passed and you know maybe you've just started your business this year or maybe you've been doing it for five years irrespective of wherever you are in your fitness business, nutrition business, you want to do this exercise. And this is something actually that uh, we've just done at Fitpreneurs. So it's called the SWOT. Okay. What does the acronym stand for? All you're going to need is a piece of paper and a pen and you want to just draw a cross, a simple cross. And the S, okay, is going to stand for strengths. Okay, the W is going to stand for weaknesses. The zero, or the O rather, is going to stand for opportunities. I'll just put ops. And then T is going to stand for, th for threats. Okay, so how do you implement this? And what is the best way uh, that I found over the years to do this? Well, first of all, if you have a team, you want to do this together. This is something that you maybe want to get your marketing director, if you have one, uh, involved in. If you're currently working on your own, then take yourself out into a space where you can really sit and think and not have distractions, which is really key. But you want to get people involved in this. Why? Because you're going to have different perspective, especially if you have a team. Okay, because you want to look at what are you doing well? Okay, what are your strengths? You know, if you look at your competitors, maybe you really brand yourself well. Maybe, you know, you know that the programs and the offerings that you have, they, they really get better results than some of your competitors. Um, and so spend some time thinking around not the, uh, not the individual strengths of your team members, that's another exercise, but the overall uh, encompassing strengths that your business has over competitors, okay? And again, this is so important because rarely do we actually sit down and think about these things in this format, which then can lead to different actions in the business, which leads to different results, okay? Then, and this is one of the most important, and for some people the most difficult, is to look at the weaknesses. In what areas of your business do you need to improve on? For example, you may say to yourself, well, you know, we really need to improve on marketing. We really need to elevate that and take it to a whole other level if we truly want to create that level of impact that we want to this year. Maybe uh, your weakness is on moving and shifting from a solo entrepreneur to building a team. You know, that's a, one of the big things that we help people do at Fitpreneurs is make that jump, make that leap, whether it's from corporate into full-time personal training or as you're a personal trainer, leaping into growing a team. Uh, if you've got a team already, then hiring A players. Wherever you are in your business, you know, there's always that next level. And so it's understanding how to really develop not just a team, but an amazing team so that you can step away more. That's something that we do great. Um, operations, okay? Um, opportunities, sorry, not operations. Operations is a part of your business, but opportunities. What are the opportunities that maybe you've not maximized on that you let go in 2017 where you're this year moving forward uh, in 2018 you're going to say to yourself well this really we need to start to capitalize on and a lot of that is going to really come down from your, from your mindset and uh, switching that to an, maybe a more abundance mindset. Um, so what are the opportunities out there that you know, if you can capitalize on though, them, it will really maybe open some doors for you into maybe a different location or going online or, or speaking, okay? Um, and then you have to look at the threats. Have a serious think about what are um, some of the things which are causing you to maybe play small within the business, okay? One of those things may be that there's more competitors who have come into the marketplace. Maybe you're finding that there's some market saturation, and so you're gonna need to have to build a even more stronger foundation around marketing to maybe change your messaging. And that's one of the emails I recently sent about, you know, maybe changing up your branding and the positioning of yourself. You know, one of the most popular 
podcast episodes on fitpreneurs was around pricing and positioning. And this is a challenge that a lot of people have. And I love this. It's one of my strong suits in helping people to position, position themselves in a way, something that I've done. And obviously through the fitpreneurs brand, uh, it's just something I love because I'm a creative. That's something which I am natural at and it's a natural strength of mine. Um, also remembering that you're going to need to develop some new strengths so that you can create more opportunities for yourself. You're going to need to build more strengths and develop more skills so that you can really start to eliminate some of those threats and, uh, and, and again, have an honest assessment around the weaknesses. So again, I would look at this. If you've got a team, get everyone involved and, uh, and spend some time on this because I know that the rewards, if you actually sit down and do the exercise, are going to be really good because it's going to get you to think, okay? Now, if you're someone who's watching this video and you're, you want to move to high performance or you're at that level where you just want to move it up and you want to create a whole new ball game in 2018, click the link below. You'll see a link to the high performance Get More Clients call where it's not just about getting more clients. Actually, it's about taking you to a much level uh, a much higher level of performance, not just in your business, but so that when you've got that level of performance running in your business, it facilitates an amazing lifestyle for you where you can have more time off, less stress, more business, so that you can create more fulfillment, which I know is something where you're working really hard, but maybe you're not in that position where, where things are flowing easily and things feel a little bit out of alignment. So do the exercise, get it done, post it into the comments below, and I'll see you in another video. This is Simon Lovell from Fitpreneurs, and we'll see you very soon. Take it easy.